So I've got my pickup truck, and you'll notice that on this particular pickup truck, I do not have a tow hitch. So one of the things I could do is I could come up here to the vehicle config, and you'll notice that there's an, a drop-down arrow here for frame, and you notice that the tow hitch is empty. So I can click on the drop-down here, and I can say, hey, I want a receiver hitch. And then when, again, I hit escape, then now I've got a receiver hitch, which means that then I could tow a trailer if I wanted to tow a trailer. Likewise, under vehicle config, there are tons of options depending on the vehicle. What kind of fuel tank? Does it have electronic stability? Uh, what kind of drive shaft does it have? Then you'll notice that there are things like, uh, here's the bed. And what are the options for the bed? So I could have a left bed accessory, which is a long range antenna in this case. And boom, I got a big antenna uh, swaying in the wind, as it were. Um, the bed accessory. What do I want to have in the bed itself? You know what? I think we should have, uh, you know, I think we should have armchairs. Why not? There we go. Two armchairs in the back of the truck. <laughs> so you can set your vehicle up. Uh, however you want to. You can change engines, you can change bumpers. Everything, or most everything, is configurable inside this game. The other thing you can do is that you'll notice that a lot of the vehicles also have a tuning option. So here you can do things like uh, setting up the force feedback for that particular vehicle. You can also uh, tow trim the front uh, wheels. You can also adjust the tow. You can adjust the camber. I mean, there's just all kinds of things. You can adjust the tire pressure. All kinds of cool stuff that you can do in the tuning. And each vehicle has its own uh, tuning options. Likewise, you can also change colors. So, for example, if I decided I want this to be a blue truck, then I can do blue. And then depending on what secondary options your truck may or may not have, or your vehicle, it doesn't have to be a truck, uh, you may be able to choose other colors. So for example, if I choose arsenic green for this, in that case, it happens to be for those stripes. So in this case, my blue truck, I've changed the stripes to white. And then if there is a third colorable option, then that could show up as well. And for the sake of argument, we'll pick rose pink. I don't think that changed. Oh yeah, that did. That changed the grill. In this particular case so yeah okay so we can change the grill to why not <laughs> blue and orange that's beautiful Dave <laughs> let's make it blue all right there we go uh, so you'll notice that we have these different options here for the vehicles likewise notice that there is a save and load option so if I decide I really like this configuration and I want to be able to use it later I can click save and load and I can click up here, give it a file name. Truck with chairs, tell it to save it. And now that vehicle will be an option that uh, I can load into my game. Very, very cool. Uh, what I can do is I can go to my vehicles. I just wanna show you this real quick. And if I go to my, if I go to D series, then truck with chairs is now an option based on my custom vehicle. So very, very cool.